everybody it's coach Evan. i'm here with my brother lawrence and today we're going to go over uh, for technique of the week we're going to uh do a choke technique uh how to defend a uh, choke and we're going to go over a, a second variation of a choke of being pinned up against the wall and someone's trying to choke you all right so uh this technique kind of looks like this say someone's choking you uh they have two hands that you press up against the wall and we'll take you through it so lawrence right now is grabbing my throat and you can hear my voice change starting to apply a little pressure what we normally do in a situation like this is we'll take both our hands and we'll reach back and search for loose fingers. Normally when somebody's trying to choke you, the fingers towards the end of the choke, uh, excuse me one second, the fingers towards the end of the hand, these two out here, normally when somebody's choking you, it's, it's your thumbs, their thumbs, and these two fingers doing most of the work. So the two fingers on the end are normally the loose ones, the easiest ones to grab. So somebody's choking you, they're holding you up against the wall. First thing we always try and think is kind of tighten your neck because you don't want to be choked out. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to reach back and look for loose fingers. Once we find a loose finger, we're then going to take the opposite hand, reach through and grab, we're going to grab his wrist. And we're going to grab the wrist this way we stay connected. And the reason why we stay connected is at this time, probably the bad guy might get an alarm bell going off in his hand that something is wrong with this and try and pull the hand away. So if he pulls the hand away, say so put your hand away. If you're not connected, He'll pull his arm away, you'll miss your opportunity. So let's go back. Being up against the wall, I'm being choked, there's pressure going on. I'm gonna reach back and feel for loose fingers. Once I feel one loose finger, I'm then gonna reach through. I'm gonna grab his wrist. I'm then gonna take the finger, and from here, pull straight down. The finger's gonna break. He can't really get away from me because I'm connected to him. And even if he pulls away a little bit, because I'm connected to him, when I go to break this, it's gonna break because we're connected. So that's variation one. Okay, y'all, so right now we're gonna go over the second variation of if somebody's choking with uh, up against the wall, we're gonna use the one arm. Uh, one arm choke is actually a little easier to escape because they only have the one arm. The best way to get rid of one arm is always attack the thumb. Since the thumb is on this side, I'm just gonna push the hand off my throat. Believe it or not, no matter how hard he's, he's choking me, this that's gonna always come off. It's gonna come off that easy with this one hand. So this also gives you uh, two attacks, maybe three attacks. Uh, if you push the hand off, his weight's gonna slide forward. You can always wrap the head, come for a guillotine choke. Um, once again, you push off, come back with an elbow strike. Or sometimes I, I like to show ladies, uh, depending, I don't want you really fighting a guy. If, if, it's a, if it's a woman being attacked, sometimes it's better to try and get out of there. So we're here again. He's pushing up against the throat. When you push the hand off, it kind of opens the door. I call it opening the door. Uh, the door's open, you push the hand, and run. If that makes any sense, let's do it again this way. Choking as hard as he can, he pushes the door, and run. It gives you a way out, so you may not have to fight. You may be able to run, call for help, call for the police, um, and get away. Because sometimes being in a fist fight can be kind of can be kind of chaotic. So. That's uh, two techniques, um, one being choked with two hands, uh, one being choked with one arm, and a couple of variations on how to deal with it. Talk to y'all later.